again. I got some beer mail over Christmas. Well, kind of. I guess it's beer mail. Friend of my wife's actually. Uh, his parents, he's from Wagga Wagga. And um, over Christmas, we got a message saying, hey, do you guys want any beer from the uh, Thirsty Crow? And anyone that knows Thirsty Crow, their uh, vanilla milk stout is a little bit special. So I said, uh, yes, I do want some. Uh, so they only do it in squealers, they don't do bottles. So I said, get me a squealer of vanilla milk stout and something else. Ended up with two squealers of vanilla milk stout. So today I'm going to share this with Aaron because it's already been in the in the um, squealer for almost a month. It needs to be drunk. So do we. If I have to. So here we go. Oh no. Oh no. Alrighty, so this is, my first experience with this beer was with Beefy, now it's a bit flat, because it has been in the squealer for a month, but with this beer it doesn't really matter. My first experience with this beer was with my good mate Beefy, we'd been labouring as uh, gardening lawn mowing people over the summer. It was like a 36 degree day or something, and we'd finished about 3 o'clock. I said, let's go to the pub for a beer. And so we went to a pub, I can't remember which pub it was. It was like, no, I can't remember. Um, and we saw this on tap, and we both recognised that it was completely the wrong type of beer to drink after a hard day in the garden <laughs> at 36 degrees, and we were in like long pants and just like, we looked like absolute crap. Uh, but we recognised it was the wrong beer, and we both chose a pint of it because Why not? he told me that this is amazing. So, cheers. cheers. And a big thank you to Phil for uh, delivering me two bottles of this. Oh, you get uh, really chocolatey. Just a hint of vanilla. That really subtle, soft roast notes. Um, uh, Can't see through it. No, it's it's black. See black as through that. Yeah. In many ways, it's almost the wrong sort of beer for uh, today too. But screw it. Who cares? It's a step up from Sol. That's for sure. It certainly is. Hmm. Vanilla really comes through all the flavour. It's a little cold. I only just pulled this out of the fridge. Um, <coughs> but yeah, that vanilla on the on the mm. flavour. I almost can't smell it after tasting it. The vanilla. It's so strong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so I mean fresh out of the keg. It just has a really creamy, uh, velvety mouthfeel, which unfortunately we don't get now because it's, uh, it's it's a wee bit flat, quite flat. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But uh, off camera, I was uh, I gave Aaron some of my wee heavy, which um, I shipped out to Tube Dino and uh, Mr. Piers, or sorry, the, the Floor Sweepers Union. Um, uh, I know uh, the Floor Sweepers Union did a beer review uh, on it just the other day. Uh, in Georgia. I, I had, a, uh, after watching that, I went back and tasted. We got about this much left in the keg. So, uh, really sweet, caramelly, chocolatey, which this is not dissimilar from. It's a, it's a little cold, as I said. Is it similarities, definitely. Yeah. probably getting my waffle on because uh, we've had a few beers today. Just a couple. Just a few. So, Thirsty Crow from Wagga Wagga. This is the uh, vanilla milk stout. 
coming in at 3.2%. Uh, uh, this is a month old in the squealer and still very drinkable. So this is Stas from Stas Brewing with Aaron, also a home brewer, uh, signing out. Cheers. Cheers.